guys, what's up and welcome back to the Mama's Review. So today, as promised, I'm going to do a video about Jacob's birthday party and kind of a few things that he got that were really special. Um, I'm going to try to go through it nice and quick for you guys, that way it's not a super long video, so let's get started. So first of all, Jacob's birthday was on Friday the 13th, but we had his party on Saturday the 14th. So we had family and friends and stuff come. Um, some from out of town, some that were here, and we just celebrated. I made his cake, and I'll insert a picture of that for you guys. Um, and that was really fun to do, just sit and um, enjoy making something for him. And then, you know, people started to show up. We opened up some gifts. I made a little video um, for everybody to watch, just of Jacob's first year, like a montage of his first year, which was very emotional for me to make. So we opened up gifts, we watched a video, and then we had cake, and that was pretty much it. Um, the kids played, I had my niece here and a few of my friend's kids, and they all just played with each other, and it was just a really nice time. It was, it was really fun, really enjoyable, really relaxing, and I couldn't have asked for a better first birthday party. So um, I'll kind of go over a few things that he got. So um, first of all, my uncle Alvin um, came early and left a little early. He stayed for a bit of the party, but he left a little early. And I'll show you the things that he bought him. So I don't have everything here because we keep some stuff at Nathan's mom and dad's place, just as um, you know, stuff for him to play with when we're there because we're there quite a lot. Um, so I don't have all the toys that he got here, but I do have um, most of the stuff. So anyway, Nathan is a Detroit Red Wings fan, if you guys don't know that from our vlogs, and my family are um, Maple Leafs fans. So he bought him a few little Maple Leafs things, a little hat, um, a little onesie, this really cute Maple Leaf sweater that is so cute. That's probably one of my favorite things that he got. Um, and he got this really cute uh, Maple Leafs t-shirt. And he'll wear all this. Like, we're not die-hard fans. We like hockey, so it doesn't really matter to us. So, um, a t-shirt, and then, yeah, the onesie and the hat. And then, because he wanted to try to make it fair, he got him some really cute Red Wing stuff as well. So we got some onesies, some Detroit Red Wings onesies that are really cute. And it's nice because all this is going to fit him a bit later. It's not going to fit him right now. And that's what I need. I need stuff to fit later on. So um, three little onesies. And then this is so cute. He's already worn it a couple of times. I'll insert a picture of Nathan and him wearing their, their Detroit Red Wings uh, jerseys together. But how cute is that jersey? He also bought these uh, blocks for him. It, we have a big stack of them here and we took a big stack of them to Nathan's mom and dad, but they came in a nice big bag and a whole bunch of the mega blocks, which Jacob really likes to play with, so that was really nice. And then the other thing that he bought him was this huge ball pit. So it comes with balls, it inflates, it's really tall. That's also at Nathan's mom and dad's because he's got quite a bit of big gifts here and we wanted to make sure that he had big stuff to play with over there. So a really tall ball pit, it's so cool. It's got like these targets that you can throw the balls through and stuff and he really loves it. So um, we'll play with that when we're there and he enjoys it a lot. So the next big gift that we got would be from um, the grandparents on both sides. My um, side bought him a wagon and Nathan's side bought him a wagon. <laughs> the exact same wagon but a few different features for each of them. So what we're doing is we're returning one of the wagons, we're gonna get all the fixings for the for the other wagon and then um, we're going to kind of have a big really nice um, sort of one solid wagon. So um, we're buying um, like a canopy attachment and some really thick wheels and stuff so that'll be really nice. It worked out and so we're excited to use that. So now I'm just gonna go through and just show you guys what he got um, from everybody like in terms of clothes, toys, that sort of stuff. So he got this cute little sweatshirt from my sister, um, my older sister, so cute with the reindeer. Um, he got these little pants from us, little pair of pants. Um, he got a few little long sleeve shirts from us. He has another one that went with it. Um, a few little long sleeves, another pair of pants from us, a pair of cute little jeans. We got the ones with like the adjustable waists on them and stuff. They fit him really well. We just need to roll up the bottoms a bit, but that works great. Um, he got this cute little um, outfit from his Auntie Chloe. So sweet. Um, we have a smaller size of it and I loved it so much and she got me the bigger size, which is just awesome. <laughs> then we also got this little Mickey Mouse um, outfit from my sister. 
and it comes with a little pair of pants with Mickey's face on the bottom. And then um, we got a little pair of PJs that he's not worn yet because he's had a fever for a little bit and they're just kind of nice and warm. So it'll be a nice, nice cozy set of PJs and it's got the little PJ pants also. Um, that's what he got for clothing. Then he did get a few like just little fun things. He got a pair of slippers from um, my friend and her kids, which are so cute. He loves to wear them. They don't fit him yet, but if he doesn't have them on his feet, he's upset, as you can hear. Here go, do you want those? Then he got this cool little container and it holds whatever sort of snacks that has a little handle and a little easy um, to grab through but no, no spillage. And he really likes that, likes to play with it, carries it around the house everywhere. So that's what he got for sort of extras and knickknacks. Another really big gift that he got that was really, really sweet was this. And I don't know if you guys can see it. It's huge, it's so cute. It's got all these buttons you can play with. I have it turned off right now. It's got a basketball hoop where you can slam dunk. It's got um, a soccer net that goes like this so you can see it's got a soccer net. And it's like counts, you know, if you make a basket or counts if you make a goal. And it just is so cute. We got that from his auntie and uncle, um, Felicia and Dylan, so sweet. Such a cute gift. Um, he already loves to play with it. He doesn't totally understand the concept that you have to throw the ball, but he'll come and he'll drop it in, which is so, so cute. And he will kick the ball into the net. So he really enjoys it. It's a lot of fun. It's super cute. It's big, but it doesn't take up a ton of space, which I really love. And so it just sits over there and he can play with it as much as he wants. Now, a few of the other toys he got, half of them, because we didn't see my family over Christmas, were Christmas presents and half of them are birthday presents. And I kind of can't remember which was which, so I'm just showing you some of them. And if I'm right, that's great. If not, that's okay too. So first of all, my sister got him this little thing. It's cute, you press all these buttons and you can move this and the monkey moves and it's got all these little like colors and animals up here that he can play with. Again, I have all these turned off just for the um, sake of the video so that we can actually show you what they do. It's got a little thing that spins here and he loves to play with this. Um, he really likes to just press this uh, toucan. He just plays with that all day long and he'll try to move the monkey with his hand. He doesn't really understand that this moves the monkey yet, but he really does like it. Then from his Auntie Chloe, we got this cute little, what are these called? Anyway, it's like a little piano with the, um, that's really bad. My husband's a music teacher and I don't know what this part is called. Anyway, that's okay. <laughs> so we got this cute little piano from his Auntie Chloe. He also got this from his Auntie Chloe, which is so cute. Like sings a song when you roll the wheels. It's got some blocks in here and you can tip the blocks out. You can press the buttons, it makes noise. And um, he really, really loves that too. He likes to push it because it has this little song um, and kind of dances to it when the little song plays. So that was really, really cute and fun. He didn't really have any noisy toys before his birthday and now he's got a ton. I don't mind that. I'm not one of those moms that's like, oh my goodness, all the noise. Because he didn't have it for the first year, so I don't mind him having it now. And you just turn it off if it's getting a little bit too much. So it's not a big deal. Then I cannot remember if my dad got him this for Christmas um, or if uh, they bought it for him for his birthday. Um, I think it was for Christmas, but that's okay. Um, so it's got this little like guitar and again it all makes noise you press all the buttons this part lights up It's got a drum sound. It's got like the everything all the little attachments. You can press every button. He loves this thing I'll just sit and press like this or this <laughs> It just plays music and he really enjoys it So um, it's fun to watch him play with the noisy toys and try to figure out what makes what noise and stuff I really enjoy that. So then what we bought him we bought him um, this drum it got it has like that and you can it's got a little drum and inside the drum it came with all of these things so it came with um, a tambourine and uh, some drumsticks and some maracas and stuff a little horn and so um, he really likes the horn he really doesn't understand um, the drum so much just yet but he'll get there and he really likes the little maracas so I saw that at Walmart and I just thought it was too cute not to buy and then my friend had one of these little books for her little girl when she was out visiting, Jacob fell in love with it. So we bought this for him. You can either have it just play music or you can have it sing the songs that are on the page and they're just little nursery rhymes. You can press all these buttons and they'll tell you what that is, whether it's drums or a horn or um, guitar or whatever, as well as um, the color and stuff. So that's really good for him for learning how to like say and you know read colors and all that sort of stuff. And almost on every page they have something that you can like slide around and play with that makes noise. So he really likes this book. It's easy to take places, which I really like. Um, that's why we bought it for him because you can just throw it in the diaper bag and it takes up no space, but it's really entertaining. So now on to Jacob's favorite thing, books. 
He didn't get a ton of books, but he did get some. We bought him um, these uh, little books here. My sister bought him for Christmas last year a whole ton of these, I think they're little classics books from the dollar store. And every time we go back now, I have a list on my phone of which ones he has and doesn't have. And I will buy if I see ones that he doesn't have because they are his favorite books. They're just so colorful and um, they're a nice long story. He enjoys them a lot. So he has a few favorites of these. Like he really likes, um, David and Goliath and Chicken Little, we have those ones, but these are some new ones that um, we've read to him maybe once. He hasn't read them too much. He likes what he knows. So we'll get there eventually and he'll like those ones, I'm sure. The other thing that we bought him was the Robert Munch Treasury Book. So it's got a ton of classics in there. And um, we have a couple of little tiny books that he really liked. This one, I think it'll take him a bit to get used to to like it because there's a huge picture and a lot of words. And for him, he likes a lot of like visual, a lot of color. So he'll get there eventually. He'll like these, I'm sure, as he gets older. Right now, he doesn't mind them, but I know that he'll like them as he gets older. Then um, his Auntie Chloe bought him this cute little book, When Will It Be Spring? It's such a cute little book. Again, he's not super into it just yet. Um, he doesn't really know it too well. And the colors are um, quite uh, calm colors. They're not super bright in his face. But the story is so, so, so cute. I know that as he gets older and, um, you know, wants to read a little more in-depth books, this is gonna be one that he just loves because seriously, it is such a cute story. Okay, and the last thing we got for him, guys, is this really cute Dr. Seuss book. It's Oh, the Places You Will Go. Um, if you've never read this story before, basically it talks about how you're going to succeed in life because you're positive and you're that kind of guy and um, you know, you never have to worry because you're gonna be awesome and great and don't worry about life. And then it also talks about how, you know what though, sometimes you're gonna have to worry about life and sometimes it's gonna be tough and sometimes you're gonna have to pull yourself out of the slumps. And that's just kind of what life is and that's true. And I want him to know that. I want him to have a good solid knowledge of the fact that like life is hard. It's rewarding and it's challenging and it's exciting but it is hard and so I loved this book for that I saw it on Pinterest to buy the book for your kid and then get everybody to sign it that was at the party um, I thought that was such a cute idea some um, people on Pinterest I think had said that they kept it and gave it to them when they were uh, you know going off to college because that's really what it sounds like to me is like when you're you know leaving the nest and heading out and whatnot but I thought it was cute to um, get everybody to sign it. I'm not going to do that. It's going to sit on his bookshelf and he'll get to look back and see what people have to say about him when he was one, when he turned one. And so I think that's really sweet. I've still got to write something in it, but I want to be able to write a nice long message for him. Um, just kind of looking back at the first year of his life and uh, towards the future and, and what's, you know, what the future is going to hold for him because I do think God has amazing plans for him and um, it's exciting to watch him grow. So that was his first birthday party. That was kind of the haul that he got for his first birthday party. Um, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm going to try to insert some pictures throughout, which you probably already saw. <laughs> but um, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in and we will see you in my next video. Bye guys.